Our goal is to help illiterate people to understand the world. All our videos are based on Wikipedia articles the largest encyclopedia of mankind, Brigadier General George Bailey Hamilton, Lord Binning, C.B., M.B.O., D.L. December 24, 1856, January 12, 1917 was a British Army officer, he was styled Lord Binning as a courtesy title. He was born in 1856, the second child and eldest son of George Bailey Hamilton Arden, 11th Earl of Haddington and Helen Catherine, daughter of Sir John Warrender, 5th Baronet of Lock and by Francis Arden. After an education at Eton and Trinity College, Cambridge, he was commissioned in the Royal Horse Guards on September 11, 1880. He served with distinction in the 1882 Anglo-Egyptian War, the Nile Expedition of 1884, and the Hazara Campaign of 1888. In 1889 he was appointed aide-de-camp to the Viceroy of India during the Black Mountain Expedition, being mentioned in dispatches. From 1899 to 1903 he was commanding officer of the Royal Horse Guards. As such he was involved in the military arrangements for the coronation of King Edward VII and Queen Alexandra in August 1902, and three days after the ceremony he was appointed a member fourth class of the Royal Victorian Order MVO on August 12, 1902, during a private audience with King Edward VII. He retired from the army in 1907, but remained in the territorial force as commanding officer of the Lothians and Border Horse, and served as His Majesty's Lieutenant of the County of Berwick from 1901 until he died. He was appointed a temporary brigadier general in December 1915, on receiving command of 41st Brigade and 14th Light Division. He remained in command until April 1916, returning to Blighty to take charge of 11th Mounted Brigade. In 1892 he had married Catherine Salting with whom he had two sons and a daughter. He died, aged 60, a few months before his father, and so did not inherit the title of the Earl of Haddington, instead, it passed to his eldest son, George Bailey Hamilton. His widow, Lady Binning, donated Fenton House in Hampstead, London to the National Trust on her death in 1952.